Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the January 2016 Grade 3-4 Contest Question 10, which also came up in the Grade 5, 6, and 7, 8 contests. So the question is, In the following puzzle, identical letters stand for identical digits, and different letters for different digits. For example, AB will be a two-digit number. Determine the value of the letters such that all three horizontal computations and all three vertical calculations are correct. Which of the following statements is correct? Okay, so what we have here is the exact same calcrostic from the question, just copied. So each letter stands for a different digit. So for example, A could be 1, B could be 2, C could be 3, and so on. And when we have A, B, so the letters beside each other, in our example we had A being 1, B being 2, that would make this number 12. Okay. Now we want to find clues that will help us determine the value of each different letter in the calcrostic. So now we need to look at equations that either we know the most about already, or equations that have the least unknown, so the least letters that we don't know anything about. Well, since we're just starting out, we don't really know anything, so we must look for equations with the least unknowns, or the least different letters. Well, here in this equation, b divided by c is equal to c, well, there's only two unknowns, b and c. And likewise here, with c plus c is equal to b, Again, we only have two different unknowns, which are B and C. And in all the different equations, there are at least three different letters. So we will just look at these two equations for now. So B divided by C is equal to C. We can also write that as C times C is equal to B. So B is equal to C times C. But we also know that B is equal to C plus C. And we can just write C plus C as 2C. Okay, so we have C times C is equal to 2C. Alright, now we have a factor of C on either side, on the left side and the right side. So, of course, C could have a value of 0, because then the left side would be 0, and the right side would also be 0. So, C could be 0. Now, looking here, we have C and C, and then we have times C here on the left side, and times 2 on the right side. Well, so that they are the same value, this C, C must be equal to 2. Well, C can be equal to 2. And we know that it can also be equal to zero. Now this, what I will be showing you is called the distributive law, which is more for older grades because you will learn that later. So here we have, if we bring C times C, and then we bring the two C on that side, then we have minus two times C because we're bringing it on this side. That must be equal to zero. And now the distributive law states, well, we have c minus 2, and then we can write it like that because we have a factor of c here and a factor of c here. So it would be written like this. So c minus 2 in brackets times c is equal to 0. And here we can clearly see that z c must be either 0 or it must be 2. Now, here, looking at our calcrostic, if, if C was 0, well, then we have 0 and then D. Well, that would make sense. So that means that C must have a value of 2. Okay. Well, here we have 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So B must be equal to 4. Okay. Now we know B and C, so we want to find out A and D. Well, let's look at this equation here. We have AB 
plus B is equal to AD. Now, since here there's an A and it goes equal to, and it, again an A in the tens column, we can just forget about those A's. So what we would just have is B plus B is equal to D. And we know that B is equal to 4, so it's like 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. So D must be equal to 8. So we have the values for C, B, and D, and all we have to do now is find the correct value for A. Well, we need to now look for an equation that has, let's say, preferably A only showing up once. So let's just look at this equation here. AB times C is equal to CD. Well, we know that C is 2, equals 2, and then 2 and D is 8, so 28. So a number times 2 is equal to 28. Well, 28 divided by 2 is equal to 14, so that number would be 14. And yes, we know that B is already 4, which we have shown here, and that means that we know A is equal to 1. Okay, so now we have found the values for the four different letters. Now let's look at the options. Well, we have D equals 2 and then a different value for all the options. Well, here we know that the correct value for D is 8. So looking down at the options, well, we see it must be option G, D equals to 8. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carewithtest.com.